What's up, everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. Alright, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel or you want to get right straight to the game, you can go to this number right here, and it'll take you right to the gameplay. Otherwise, we are going to get the show started. So, uh, of course, today we are celebrating the Matrix. Good old Matrix. Hey, Alright, finally. Uh, you had some Matrix games you wanted I to do? play, and yeah. so you got like about 57 of them, right? Yeah, about 57, yeah. Okay, here you go. Wario, Smith, and Mario Anderson. There's your, your guns. Just hold those for me, would you? Okay, I got some games to show you. So that's Mario's last name is actually Anderson. It's Anderson, Mario. Didn't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I just had a little bit of show and tell here. Some show and tell? Yeah, this isn't really video game related as much as it is Matrix related. B and I were at a thrift store, no, a yard sale. We ended up finding this place. This guy was really into movies. Unfortunately, it's a little, little tattered and chewed up by a dog, but... <laughs> Whatever. This guy was really into movies, and he had this Matrix guide. This is from the first movie, and they got, like, all the uh, the storyboards <laughs> and everything from the first movie. And then, oh, oh, holy cow, look at that. Yeah, ne Neo's face, or face oh, is all messed full up. full color, <laughs> uh, kind of concept sketches, drawings, and stuff like that. Looks like a horror movie. It does. Beyond all of this, holy cow. Just keeps going and going and going. Okay, then we have the actual movie script in here. Anyway, in my wanderings through yard sales and uh, thrift stores, I've and I've picked up a lot of the Matrix movies and stuff like that. You mean I didn't buy them originally? <gasps> what a sin! I know. The uh, I have two of the video games here that I bought at thrift stores. I want to go through the timeline here. So Animatrix has a lot of prequel stuff for it. You got to watch some of those if you want to go in order here. And I'm not going to go through the entire motion picture timeline and everything like that in video game timeline because there's a lot of video games path of neo came out what 2005 after matrix after the last the third matrix movie so that covers all three movies from beginning to end so it's kind of hard to place that animatrix has some little shorts that come before and after the matrix then you have the matrix you have the matrix reloaded and then you have the matrix revolutions and during Matrix Revolutions comes Enter the Matrix. <laughs> and this one was directed by the Wachowskis, has the original actors, even cutscenes, including the actors from the movie. So if you really want to watch it properly, be watching Matrix Revolutions, pause it, go back to playing the video game, pause it, go back to the movie, <laughs> because they're happening at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, that was one thing that always irritated me about, like, watching movies and stuff, because I try to follow the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to watch them in order of release. Why? I don't know. Maybe because that's how they were released. <laughs> and so I tried looking it up. Like, what? when did they come out? What mm -hmm. was the order of release? And I kept finding everything just telling me, no, you want to watch it in chronological order, so start with, like, Captain America. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to watch it the way it was meant to be watched, which is in order of release, the way they released them. Exactly. If you watch it in chronological order, you're seeing spoilers for the stuff that happened later because this is essentially <clears throat> a flashback. Yeah. yeah, or you would see, like, when you get the end credit scenes, you're going to be seeing stuff, you're like, wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense, why? Well, it would have mm -hmm. made sense if you watched it, guess what, in order of release. Oh, what? And so, that's one thing, too, like, with The Matrix, it'd be neat to go through and watch them, like, technically, in order of release. In order of release. So you could watch the first movie, second movie, third movie, yeah. but then find out when did the video games come into play, because when you start doing it in order of release, then you start realizing what is a flashback and what is not a flashback. That's true, and you don't get spoilers too yeah you won't be like spoiled with stuff because if you watch things in order of, of chronological order they're talking about things that we already know because we've seen the later movies chronologically speaking it's like if you watch all of them all of the uh, star wars movies in chronological order if you're paying attention you realize i don't want i'm not going to spoil it if you haven't watched the star wars trilogy but you realize what's going on if you yeah. watch from like one two three and then you get to episode five and, and you're and you're like 
oh, was that supposed to be a twist? I'm sorry. Yeah. So you got to watch it in the order of release and then look at the other ones as prequels. Uh, so it's weird because my videos, I didn't, I didn't look it up. I'll post it in the comments below, but mine says 2003 for Matrix Reloaded and 2003 for Matrix Revolutions. And I think that's because they made them at the yeah, same they time made them at like or the released same the DVD time. at the same time. I'm not really sure. And looking at the, the way what's written on the back of the, the discs... It says 2003, like there was the Matrix in 99, and then absolutely everything else came out in 2003. It's like, that. that's not how I remember it, first of all. But anyway, oh, there is one game that I didn't mention that I own, and it's on the audio CD. If you have the Matrix Revolutions audio CD, put that in your computer, there's a little game inside it. And with, if anybody owns a CD player anymore. All right, that's all I got. All right, so what game are we going to be playing today, then? So we're going to be playing one of your games, and this is ooh, good old Enter the Matrix for the PlayStation 2. Yeah. And so I've never played it. I'm familiar with the movies. I've watched the Matrix 1, 2, and 3, and, of course, watched the new one. I never actually watched Animatrix, mm -hmm. but I would love to watch that sometime. But I never played the video games. And so, uh, but yeah, it looks like you got it complete, and it's from Atari, so Atari ooh. was part of it. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks like you got the manual, and it's a pretty thick manual. Yeah. And uh, you got the game, and is the game in good condition? I think so. Let's see. <laughs> I hope so. Just dust. Dust everywhere. Fingerprints everywhere. Smudge. Fun. There's there's chocolate on here. There's, <laughs> like, somebody took a knife to it. Probably shouldn't have used <laughs> it as a coaster for so long. <laughs> but, yeah, so I don't know the storyline of this game, what it's supposed to be. All it says on the back is, in the war to save Zion, what part will you play? So apparently we can play multiple parts or pick what we can be the agents now. Oh, I did play this once. And so I don't know. We got the manual, so I don't know what's going on. You know more about it, but I'm going to be reading the manual, checking out what's going on. And this is going to be a blind playthrough of Enter the Matrix on the PlayStation 2. Yeah. So without further ado, let's pop the puppy in and get going. You ready to play? I'm game. <laughs> the Matrix has us. That's, that's going to be our slogan from now on. The Matrix. Matrix. The Mattress. <laughs> Low adding. Look at that. We got the Matrix code. Yeah. Can you read that? You oh, can yeah. read that, right? Oh, man. It's like I'm really there. Atari. The heck? Atari. Ooh. That's pretty sweet looking. WB <laughs> wants to make a fourth game. They're gonna do it with or without you. Wow, look at that. Little beepy. Little beepy. Shiny entertainment. Oh, I see <laughs> what they did there. <laughs> like I said, this takes place alongside Matrix Revolutions, the third movie. You know what's really weird? Because it's a movie based game, I would almost assume that you could watch it in 4x3. Or not 4x3, 16x9. 16x9? Hacking? Yeah, because Matrix was 16x9, while at the same time there were still being 4x3 movies released. Controller, we're not going to mess with that. Look at all that. Fighting, driving, hovercraft, vibration. No. Niobe, Niobe, on, normal, Niobe, ghost, Niobe, ghost, on, Niobe. Okay. So there's audio, effects, music, voice. Operator, 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 operator. operator. <laughs> That's the next YouTube poop. I love when games do this. You can oh, bring the music. music down because usually what happens is this. Most video games, we can't control it, and here's what you have. You have the music like this, and then when Operator. someone comes in Operator. to talk... Operator. Operator. Sounds like that. What? Sounds like... Sounds like what did they say? What? You gotta be doing the, it's like, come on. You gotta go over there. Oh, yeah, the crucial piece of information about the video game. I don't like I love the music, though. Yeah, the music Operator. sounds awesome. Operator. Operator. But yeah, we can crank the vo the voice too. The only thing I don't like is I can't push and hold and have it go. Oh. I have to sit here and. Really? Operator. So it just moves Operator. one digit when you yeah. hold it down. That's terrible. All right, so without further ado, I guess we're going to hit new game. All right. Easy, normal, or hard? Great. So if we do normal, we won't get the good ending. Neo dies. Enter path of matrix. What? Enter the matrix. All right, so this is one of the problems that we've always had with video games, because it's like, we like to sit back, relax, and smell the roses. Mm -hmm. So let's do it on easy. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you get halfway through the game, it's like, ha ha, never mind. You want the good ending? Do it on normal mode. But some games, like Twisted Metal 3 or whatever, will be like, you beat it on easy, get the bad ending. 
beat it on normal? Mm -hmm. Get the bad ending. We got to do it on hard. I think there is a bad ending, but I don't think it's connected to easy, me easy, normal, or hard. So what do you think we should do? Should we go easy peasy? I we think, might as well. Let's I just think go so. Easy. That's what we always do. See what happens. Ooh, because Tiny ooh. Tank did that. I gotta see what's going on. Here. Look at him. Look flies at him. to cow pies, crawling over every drop we ever used. We didn't have a lot of time. Actual movie. A lot of time. See, this is weird. Oh, we don't have a little time. I don't remember any of this from the original film. Look. It's not in there. This Mr. Naysay. Mr. is Naysay. So I wonder if that, is that Niobe they're talking about? Might be. Yeah, I think this follows. Okay, yeah, this takes place during the middle of Matrix Revolution. She's on a mission. So this game you would play, like, after... Maybe this came after the third movie, then. Yeah. And this is, like, basically... It's... it's No, it's part of the, the third movie. So, it's like, this is happening alongside the third movie. So, are you red or blue on this? Or are you red or blue on this? What? You know me, Niobe. It's not a choice. Super green. It's weird now because it's like they're almost, I don't know, like they're being nerdy about it. You're better blue about this. Yeah, it kind of is. I won't bother to tell you. Your wish, Captain, my captain, is my keystroke colon double backslash execute command. <gasps> Get it? <laughs> Select character. So I feel like this was written by nerds. Yeah. <laughs> but it was directed by the Wachowski brothers. So that's cool. It's like a legit part of the movie series. Okay, so we can play it as Ghost. I started playing it as Ghost, and I kind of found it kind of boring. So that's the thing. I'm wondering, what's canon now? I think Niobe's canon. So I was going to say, I don't know this Ghost dude. I'd rather go with Niobe. Yeah, because it is supposed to follow Niobe's path. Uh, the, this part of the, I mean, that's that's how I heard about it, is that this is supposed to go alongside... Where's the box? All right, well, I'm going to pick Niobe. I think. All right, yeah, so I guess I'll just go with Niobe. We'll select, select good old Niobe. Enter the Matrix now. Yeah. I don't even know what the storyline is. They're just in there, just yakking to each other. They're, they're, uh, somebody died trying to deliver something, and they never trusted drop boxes. But I thought it was. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Check your guns. You never know. It's cool. Like when they're outside of the Matrix, they're people. Like it's, it's it's like film. Yeah. But in the Matrix, it's a video game. So I thought that was kind of cool. You got ten minutes until the post office. Yeah, it's closes. pretty awesome. Oh, but he should be real. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. You should be that like a normal been awesome. Yeah. And hey. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah. It would have cut to him being real. That that could have been pretty cool. I'll get the package and set her out. Yeah, we're tough. That's what we were talking about. You and I were talking about that earlier today. It's like back in the day, everyone just had this real nonchalant. Mm -hmm. Would you like to save your progress? Yeah. Like everyone seemed more low key and more like depressed and more like just kind of talking like whatever, you know, not excited. Whereas nowadays, everyone's like hey, hey, freaking guys. out and yeah, super well, that's, excited. That's the YouTube era, man. You got to be like talking on and stopping and never have a breath and you're not allowed to breathe and you're not allowed to eat and sleep and you're just supposed to talk and they're like high energy all the time. And then when we play The Matrix, it goes kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Let's do this. Oh, that's weird. Oh, this is cool. I so, like this environment. This looks like the same lobby that that Trinity and oh, it is. It's the same lobby that Trinity and Neo blew up. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So right away, I'm just kind of messing with the controls because I don't know them. So this is it. But if I hit the right analog, it just goes into first person. Mm, okay. That's <clears> weird. <throat> so I can't control the camera. Huh. Uh oh. While you mean while walking around, you can't control the camera. Yeah. So if I do this, I'm like, I want to control the camera with the right analog stick. It mm. just does this, and now you're stuck. Hmm. And See, I can't move the <clears throat> right analog stick to look around because it gets me out of there. Oh yeah. See, I think what would have been cool is if it allowed us to learn the controls with the character. Now we're going in with a character that's supposed to know how things work. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> it's time for you to leave. Oh, oh, wow. You've been spotted. Someone escort the lady out. Ooh, ooh, ah. Kia! Hand-to-hand <laughs> -hand combat move. I was going to say, look at her jump. That's oh. terrible. It's like, come on, you're in the Matrix. You're Niobe. You're supposed to be kind of like Morpheus, and you guys know all this fancy pants poo poo fighting stuff, right? Yeah. And that's her jump. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the worst jump in any video game that I've ever seen. Oh, that guy's like cowering. Please don't hurt me! 
We're just gonna beat the snot out of them, just like they did in the Matrix. They kind of like addressed that in the new Matrix movie, uh, Resurrections. Wow, yeah, like just blindly playing this without knowing the controls, mm -hmm. it's really weird. Hmm. She had her gun out. And then I hit square, she put it away, and now I can't pull the pistol back out. So you have to hit L1 and R1 at the same time. Uh-huh. Oh, holy cow. Hit L1 and R1 at the same time. But if you hit it again, she shoots. Put it away, you have to hit square. That's weird. Holy cow. Check the ceiling in the bathroom, it's tight but a way in. So there is bathrooms. You can actually access both the bathrooms. Okay, so I kind of want to start over here and explore and look around. Seems like a pretty empty lobby. But, like I said, the controls were really throwing me off. You have to hit L1 and R1 at the <clears> same <throat> time, mm -hmm. but now if you want to put it away, you don't hit it again. You hit square. Hmm. This is a big lobby, too. Holy smoke. This is what I don't want to have happen. It just cuts. Yeah. Someone's the mailboxes? It's still right How side up, though. Box seven, three, one, two, two, two is located. Yeah, so in the it's, bathroom. Yeah, it's Wait, didn't you go to the bathroom? No, I was fooling around over here. Oh. And then it was like, go to the bathroom, ho ho. And I was like, okay, well, there's the bathroom, but first I want to look around. Oh. And then I was like, oh, what's over here? And then it triggered a cutscene. I'm just going to hmm. leave then. Can't. Not allowed. Whoa. Abort the mission. I hit square nothing. I stand by the door and hit square. Yeah. Holy cow, these controls are like... <clears throat> yeah. You know, you shouldn't be able to abort the mission until you go to a phone booth. Yeah. Come yeah, you on. shouldn't be able to do it until you find a telephone. You should go to, a, like, a, a wall telephone. Laundry basket. Can you jump in the laundry basket? No, because... Oh, you can climb it, though. Ooh. You know, it sounds... It, I mean, looking, just watching, it's, it looks like siphon filter controls. You know, you walk up to something and hit X, you can climb on it. Yeah. What is the action button here to climb on things? Ooh, oh, oh. See, see that's also something that you can do in some of those... And I don't know why she did that. I didn't do anything. I don't remember how you, you do that in some other video games, but... I wonder if the controls are similar, maybe borrowed from another game. Yeah, if you come over here and hit... Stop. X. But if I push on it, she does that. Hmm. You know, it's funny, her pants okay. here, her pants look just like Gigi Ed, no, what's her name? Gina Torres from Firefly. She was also in the Matrix, and I'm pretty sure she was somewhere in the Matrix, I'm not sure where. Um, so what, uh, Morpheus hangs hangs out with this chick, right? Yeah, M Morpheus and Niobe. Niobe were a thing. Yeah, they used to date. Yeah, and she's got these red pants in Firefly. Gina Torres's character also wears that kind of pants. These are sort of red type pants. And the guy who plays Morpheus, Lawrence Fishburne, ended up dating Gina Torres. <laughs> it's all about the pants, man. <laughs> okay, so she can do some pretty fly. Half the time she wants to do it. If I just push up, now she's doing that. Hit X, and then she'll do the same thing on these boxes of comics. I think it depends on your direction there. buttons. She steps up on them. She steps up on them. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, come over here. I think they're files. Stop. She steps up, and then she steps up. Huh. It's just kind of goofy cool. looking. But now she won't do it. Now she just oh, steps there. to it. Okay, there is an animation for stepping on it, too. Though. But and here I, I was saying, yeah. like, I want to run and jump. So that time she did it. Oh, um. It's, it's weird, because it's like sometimes she was doing this and then doing that. So that's why I thought you had to do this. This weird kick. Hmm. But I can't get her to turn around. This is what I was doing before. Okay. I remember these controls just being absolutely ridiculous. I did test this game out once playing Ghost, and I'm like, this is just crazy. Why is this so hard to play? But here's the thing, like, I feel like, here, like, this is open now. Action button, can I do anything? Hmm. That's open. Not in trouble, eh? Oh. Now you got yourself in trouble. See, I was over here somewhere, and it was like, push the action button. So I hit X, and what did she do? She jumps on the thing. So I come over here, and it says, yeah, push the action button. I push X, she just stands there and jumps. No, yeah. you have to hit square. Oh, so now square's, square's the, action, square's the button. action button. 
maybe the X is the moving action button and square is the uh, doing something with something action button, interaction button. Because that's what I want to do. Like, I'm so used to video games. This is why I'm at the beginning saying, can I click on this? Can I click on that? Can you grab this? Can you grab that? Can you do anything? It's like it's got the scan line frozen on the screen. They could have animated that. Police. I found a way inside. Try the employee access door next near the lobby elevator. New episode. Police core. <laughs> now she's trying to go up the elevator. What the heck? Sparks, the elevator shut down. Yeah, I know. This is weird. This game feels very open world to me. Yeah. And no matter where I go, it's going to cut and continue the game. Yeah. But they were saying, no, go in here. Okay, so I come in here, and then what? You're going to continue the game? Let's take a leak. That's why I was like, I don't want to come in here, because they're like, look at the ceiling. Which, those are reversed, too. What are we reversed? The controls? Yeah, so oh. down is up, up is down. Yes, climb the toilet. Can you flush it? Can you look up inside there? Can I shoot it? Can you even aim? I don't think you can aim. What? No. That was the women's restroom. Try the men's restroom. <clears throat> That'd be awesome if some dude was in here. Oh! There well, is a there dude is, in here. But Maybe, if this is the restroom. Repair guy. Or is this somewhere else? He said, check the ceiling, and now there's somebody already there. You gotta pull that guy out of the ceiling before he finds it. That's the thing, like I was saying. This is like a huge open world. I want to make sure to explore everything mm -hmm. before moving on. Yeah. But it's like, it wants like, to keep pushing me down farther and farther. Like, this, is what, this door should be locked mm -hmm. until I get into the elevator. Or until I climb up. Yeah, I get it. We don't want to miss anything. And then that's what happens. This is the irritating thing about video games that I don't like. It's like, why did you do that? Why did you kick me out of there? So I didn't need to go up there. I didn't need to follow that guy in the bathroom. Even though they're like, follow the guy in the bathroom. I think we need to start over. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Does it? Is Maybe this is just a save room. And just saves it and then you leave. Loading behind the scenes behind the scene. Maybe she stepped into a room there's like, like, the Wachowskis are sitting there directing the film and they're sitting there with their cameras. They're, cut! Cut! Niobe, what are you doing? Get back, get back in the movie. You about the TCS uh, report? This is the men's locker room. Wow. You're in the men's locker room. Okay, so what if Can I you come go back? They locked me out. No, 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 that one. That's the one you came in. No, we you're locked. We need help in here. We need help in here. There's a woman! So it men's... locked me out. I'm not allowed to go back. Bunch of mess. That's what you get for being a man in the men's restroom. New up throw. <laughs> Those are really fragile. That's awesome. It reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 2, is Sons it? of Liberty, where you... Holy cow. <laughs> what the heck is she doing? Just, she really hates, like, locker room doors. Look at this. The hinges don't come in until next week. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous. She's not even touching. She's just using the force. Boom. Use the force, Niobe. <laughs> Use the force, Niobe. Use the force. I really think, though, maybe we need to restart the game. That's what I'm thinking, too. It's like, now I gotta... Now I mean, I wanna... we're at the beginning, anyway. We just... The only thing we missed is following that guy into the ceiling, because, like, that was what all the tips said to do. <laughs> there's, like, all these... <laughs> there's nothing in them, either. Look, the water's on. Can you turn it off? <laughs> Excuse me. So you'll interact no with No kidding. That. You can take a shower if you want. Or right, just ah. get all wet and leather. That'll that'll be fun. <laughs> that won't reek at all. I don't know. Do you want me to start over or continue on? I don't know. I'm like I'm curious. That's that's the thing. I'm curious if it goes full circle like a like a Tomb Raider game, you know? Yeah, where you can go back to it. Yeah. Or holy cow! Look how big this area is. Yeah. What's it called? Resident Evil. I feel like, you know, you can always go back to the beginning eventually. Look at that. Big advertisement for... Po uh, I can't even remember the name of the Powerade. It's all busted, though. What the heck? Who did that? <laughs> Look, a telephone. You should be able to save... This is where you should be able to yeah. save or quit. Yeah, you should be able to save or quit right here. That's ridiculous. What we should have made this game. What do you got in yours? Uh, I got baloney. Did you get I got baloney. working? No, just need just a pack of bologna. <laughs> just pulling out strips and eating them. Been here. Holy cow! You pull a gun on them and they—they. They... 
What? Who's shooting at me? Now? Great security. Oh, they're just they're not security. They're just random workers. So you have to go into first person. Yeah, and that guy wasn't even an agent. She just like shot some random security guard. It's like what the so heck? So you can just shoot these people. Yeah. Hey, you can just kill random civilians. Holy cow, that is dark. So he was still alive. That is very dark. <laughs> So I think maybe we just explore a little bit longer and just see if it wraps around full circle. Because I feel like we're doing nothing but wandering around this big facility. Yeah, and it keeps, like, triggering stuff. And to be honest, this building has a lot of wasted space. I mean, come on. What is up with all this space? It's a good thing nobody's working at the post office today except for people fly filing spreadsheets and guards. Like, just so many, so many guards. That's the thing, too. I love that you can <laughs> kind of do the bullet time stuff, which is awesome. He's just sliding around on the floor. That is awesome. Yeah, all the slow-mo stuff. This is the game that Thomas Anderson was designing in, in the third <laughs> in the fourth movie. Now everyone's going to get mad because of spoilers. <laughs> it's not even a spoiler. It's in the trailer. See, I don't know. This game being on PS2, it makes it feel like, oh, there should be a lot of stuff you can explore and, like, pick stuff up and mess with things. And it's like... You have these giant environments, and it's like there's nothing to do in them. Yeah. And it keeps, like, no matter which way I go, it keeps triggering to go into the next area of the game. Yeah. Massive and detailed environments. It's like, I feel like you should be able to pick up key cards from the guards and their guns, and it's like, no. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like, it feels like there should be more interaction than there actually is. <laughs> Oh, you surrendered? Well, let me kill ya. Okay, so you just gotta beat up enough guards or what? And then that is opens? that it? You have to be- you literally are- that's your- or, or is it just you being here that did that? You just kill postal workers. The official game of the USPTO. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the patent office. Well, then again, there's a bunch of stuff I haven't looked at. Like, what's your objective? Find and retrieve the package. Get uh -huh. to the second floor and find box. <laughs> What was that? I have no idea. That was a glitching voice. <laughs> so, like, literally, you're just supposed to beat up innocent people, then. That's all that it takes to get onto the next level. This looks like the... These look like the rooms in the movie with the architect or whatever. I'm in that hallway. I wish it would have been a little bit brighter and this, greener. This actually kind of reminds me, well, like, Left for Dead. Hmm. It's like, is there any exploring, anything to do? It's like, no, you just gotta fly through it. Nothing to pick up, nothing to do. That's pretty awesome, though. Like, I love the fighting. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can punch, do all this stuff, bust the glass. Now I'm down this crazy hallway. That's <laughs> an awesome cow. kick. I like when she does that. That poor guy's kidneys. So what do you want? I guess. I should guess we keep going, we... or should we just start over? <sighs> Maybe see we should what was start up that over. Ceiling. Yeah, I really want to know what was up that ceiling. It looks like it's not going to circle around. All right. Let's, well, I'm let's see hit what reset. happens if you. Let's just see what happens in this next section. Does it bring you back, or or not? And if it doesn't, then we'll just shut it off. Loading epicenter. Okay, so that previous level was called behind the scenes. So all the stuff we had to do, like go in the. Go in the bathroom and climb up and interact with this and do this and do that. No, you don't have to. You just fly through it. No. All right. I guess we'll start over. It's crazy. Yeah. Play shopping convenience. All right. So what are the objectives? Find and retrieve the package. Okay. Yeah, I came into here and then it told me, oh, yeah, go check the bathrooms. There. I found a way inside. Try the employee access door near the lobby elevator. Hmm. Well, this is where I went into here. Yeah, that's when it's going to trigger something, though. And this triggered a different cutscene. Mm -hmm. There. Check the ceiling in the bathroom. It's tight, but it's a way in. Hmm. A way in. Into what? Because apparently you don't need to go that way. You can do what we did earlier and just go Walk wrong through the door. Willy-nilly. Wait. Yeah. Maybe that's... I get what you're saying now. Is that because it's on easy mode, we can just walk in through the door? Yeah. It could be. All right, so I'm going to head into the bathroom then. And we're going to see what's going on in here. This game also kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, uh, Max Payne. Like, this kind of reminds me of the, um... Like, the beginning when you're in the train station. All right, so here. Go into the bathroom. And he goes up there. 
Yeah. So just go right up there. Just go grab his legs and pull him down. That's what they do in the movies. Just that that's it. Nothing dramatic. That's it. It's just a way out. Would you like to see We didn't miss progress. anything though, did we? We didn't leave anything behind. Loading we... behind the scenes. Yeah, so behind the scenes is the next level then. The heck. Unless they just really made this game so there's like tons of replayability. Like you can just take multiple paths. The heck? Now she dropped down into the shower. Now she's in the men's room. Someone just randomly left the water on. But we were able to get in here. Is this where I can shut the water on and off? What do you think about that? Is there someone else in here? I don't know. <laughs> falling all over the place. She's just laying there trying to hide. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he was taking a nap. He, he just woke been. him up by killing him. That he died just being have the snot beat out of him. Sleeping on the job, that's what you get. <laughs> Done. Push the red button. Okay. Why not? Don't mind if we do. That's a com is that different? And now that opened. I'm trying to remember okay. <laughs> that was like slap happy right there. Running and I just hit X, that's all she does. Mm -hmm. But if I'm running in slow-mo and hit X, she's like, ay, 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 ay. Judo chop! <laughs> what was that? Glitch. Where'd There's do probably that? 31 inches. This is how people should walk in their house. Just, okay, I need to get up here and work. I need to change the batteries in the... Nikes. People are like, yeah, I need to change the batteries in the clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's that walking around? Who's that just... Yeah, just walking around. That's all she's doing is just walking. She's walking here. And he's just... Look at that. Look at this. And he's oh, just wow, standing you're making there. A, oh, you are throwing him a lot farther this time. He's just standing there wondering what's happening. Someone walking around in here? He's just standing like, oh, what do I do? Yeah, this game is really glitchy. Like I said, I'm up here kicking stuff, knocking things around, and they're just casually, nonchalantly just walking around. I, I would like to see how that dive through the window works, but I don't... It's just like slapping away at the glass. It's like, I thought there was a dive roll. Jumping and climbing, use the jump button to jump onto various objects. All right, the so I guess moving onward. All right, that was two different paths through the whole first two levels. All right, so there's the epicenter, so I'm going to hand it off to you, and you can play okay. through the epicenter. All right. I don't know if you want to go through it and figure out how the heck we're supposed to jump dive. Dive jump. 